Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, and for those of you who are new, welcome. So for today's video, I am working on multiple areas on my island, mainly my entrance and all the areas that are surrounding it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's just get right into it. So the first thing that I did off camera was I created a second level and the reason why I did that was because I don't really like the location of my resident services on my island. I feel like it's too close to my airport and yeah, I just felt like the only way that I could fix that was through covering it up with a terraformed area and I didn't want to go too crazy with my terraforming where I made this natural entrance with beautiful waterfalls just because my entrance is directly across from my vintage neighborhood one and I wanted to keep the whole style and design very similar so I ended up going for a more simple approach but I still love it and I hope you guys too and yeah so right now I just put down some stone pathing on this upper level and I am planting some trees to make it look a little bit more natural and putting down some fencing just to frame the whole area. So for my entrance, I just included a sitting area where you could just wait for your plane or wait for guests arriving on the island and I also included this little souvenir stall and I thought that was a really cute idea to just have a souvenir area where visitors can just buy some flowers and chocolate before they leave the island or when they're or when they just arrive and I also wanted to keep the furniture very similar to the vintage reading nook and vintage neighborhood so I ended up using the the wedding bench and the antique furniture in the medium brown color And right now, I am just trying to figure out how I can use the iron and stone fencing just to create a little bit more structure in this area.
and I actually didn't work on the area on the right side and the reason for that is because I don't really know what I'm gonna do with that area just yet. A lot of you have suggested some really amazing ideas like a community garden or an observatory and I really love those ideas but I just need to figure out how I could implement them into my island. And right now, I am just putting down this dirt path. I used to use the white bricks underneath my fountains, and I like how it gave that worn effect, but ever since I swapped out those bricks, I ended up using this dirt path, and I actually really love the way that it looks because I feel like it actually looks a little bit more natural, and it actually makes a little bit more sense having dirt come beneath the fountain, and I love those tiny little flowers that are just popping out from the edges of the dirt path. And right now, I'm just adding in some in-game dirt path so that I could plant some flowers in that little area. And right now, I am just fixing the fencing in this area. I really wanted to show the vintage reading nook from this view. I just thought that it looks really nice and I didn't want to cover it up. So I ended up taking out some of that fencing and putting some plants around this area and I created this mini flower stand. And I've actually changed quite a few things on my island. I have completely removed my post office that I created in my street market plus post office video. And the reason for that is because I just felt like it wasn't the right place to have the post office there. And I will eventually make a bigger post office on another part of my island. In this video, I do make a tiny post office that you will see towards the end. And I just wanted to let you all know that I will be updating my dream address soon and I will definitely create a community post once it is updated. So for those of you who are interested in walking through the island and seeing all of the new areas and all of the areas that I have changed up, you can definitely do that. The new areas will include my vintage neighborhood number three and this other area that I have been working on that I ended up filming a video on but I'm not really happy with the way that it is just yet so maybe for those of you who do visit my dream address you guys could let me know what you think of that area or what you think I should do or if I should keep it or change it.
and right now I am just adding in some of this white brick path to this area. I don't really like what I did with the flowers here. I just feel like this cliff has a very weird shape and I feel like the flowers look very odd here, so, so eventually I do take it all away and straightening out that cliff. And right now, I am just adding that brown crochet rug right in front of that foam box. And I also added one in that little road that connects all of these areas together. And right now, I am just working on this little seating area where I put these two garden benches together with a beautiful statue in between. And I ended up swapping out the black cosmos for white ones. I just felt like it brightened the area up and I like the way that it looks. And I'm also swapping out that plant for this phonograph so that I could have some music playing when visitors um, enter the island. And right now, I am just walking through the finished parts just to see if I am missing anything or if I want to include more things. And right now, I am actually just doing those changes I've mentioned earlier. I am going to remove all of those flowers and straighten off the cliff and eventually move that tree so that they are in line with each other. And now I'm just filling in that new cliff area with the same stone pathing that I use. Now I'm just putting down the stone fencing to frame the whole area. And right now, I am just adding another one of those brown crochet rugs, and please excuse my outfit. I received this mom's apron in my mailbox, and I just wanted to see how it looked like, so apologies for no pants in that one shot, but... Yeah, right now I am actually working on that um, little post office that I've mentioned earlier. I am putting down the same brick pathing that I use in the entrance, Thank you. 
And right now, I am just adding in these simple panels in that post box um, custom design. And I'm adding in those antique tables in the dark wood and I'm keeping it quite simple since I will be having a bigger post office in another part of my island. So yeah, that is the finished look and the end of the video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and if you are not subscribed, subscribe if you'd like. And if you are interested in more content of my island, I will leave my Instagram link below. And I guess that's it for now, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!